Hey guys and welcome to another Liverpool career mode episode and uh, for the start of this episode we're just going to quickly run through the squad report. I'm not going to go really in depth with it but if you want to look at any of the players stats you can pause at any point in the video and have a quick look. Uh, you'll notice that Joe Gomez had actually gone up by I think 4 at this point and I was really abusing the training with him and Tillman's making decent progress there. Emery Chan with uh, just the one up at the moment but uh, overall I wasn't actually amazed by the progress being made by the players but nonetheless we're going to go into our first game of the episode and that is the Merseyside Derby game against Everton at Goodison Park now if you're not familiar with my YouTube Everton are a bit of a uh, how do I put it bogey team I really don't do well against Everton and uh, I seem to always lose 2-1 at the Goodison. So we'll see if we can change that today or if the curse is going to linger. But earlier on in the game, five minutes in, Nathaniel Klein running through, takes a volley. It's a great save by uh, Tim Howard. And now 16 minutes in, a decent header from Naismith. And you can see that already early on there's lots of chances going on. Milner with a free kick. Great opportunity to make it 1-0. He curls it round the wall and it's pushed away by Howard. Sturridge. Passes it back to Gomez, and now he passes it out wide to Henson. Nice touch. He's going to look for the cross. Swings it to the back post. Climb with the header, and we're 1-0 up. Great play by the team there. We really recovered after a poor pass from Sturridge, to be honest. I think I was trying to pass it into the box, but it was a poor pass out wide. But we got away with it, and Nathaniel Klein with an absolutely brilliant diving header. Uh, you wouldn't you won't really expect him to come out with a diving header. He's probably the least ex likely player on that pitch to score a diving header. But nonetheless, it is absolutely great play by the team. And we've got a well-deserved 1-0 lead 20 minutes into this game against Everton. Now, hopefully we can keep hold of it and not let the curse of the 2-1 come back to haunt us. But a great save by Mignolet there. Protecting the goal, protecting the clean sheet. And now, just before half-time, they've got a corner. It's swung in and John Stones... Heads it well over the bar. And now we're going to go into the second half. 51 minutes in. Aruna Kone dancing around the pitch. Skirtle passes it straight to Morales. They're through on goal. And it's a great save by Mignolet. And it's headed away by Joe Gomez off the line. And that was a brilliant stop from a goal. But now Kone's through. He takes a shot. and Oh, my Jesus. What? No. Aruna Kone. It's Aruna Kone. FIFA, please. It's Aruna Kone. You don't score them goals, especially Aruna Kone. He does not score them goals. First touch, 28 yards out. He does not score them goals. That is ridiculous. I wouldn't be able to hit that shot in 100 years on FIFA 16. Well, <laughs> that clean sheet isn't going to last. And now 70 minutes in, Aaron Lennon, he's through on goal. He's done Joe Gomez. He cuts to the inside, takes a shot. Ah... Oh! It's back. The scoreline's back. It's 2-1 Everton. And I swear this is like the hundredth time now that we are losing 2-1 to Everton. But we're into the 90 plus second minute. Benteke is through. He goes down. That's got to be a penalty. We've won a penalty. And surely we're going to salvage a point in the final minute of the game. Kevin Morales has got a red card, which is obvious. It was last man. He's got to go. But can Daniel Sturridge put this into the back of the net? Stop us from losing 2-1 and get us a point. Yes, he can. Howard's close, but he can't quite do it. We've got a 2-2 draw, surely, because it's practically the last kick in the game. And we've not lost 2-1. I mean, oh, I was so sick of losing 2-1. And when that Aaron Lennon goal went in, I, I was losing faith in humanity. But we kick off here after the goal, and there's the full-time whistle. It was pretty much the last kick of the game, so we got so lucky. But uh, we salvaged a point in the end, and I think, uh, to be honest... Overall, it should have been a draw. But now the second episode of the game, we've got two really difficult games away from home. Everton and Spurs, so we're going into another rivalry at White Hart Lane. And let's see if we can do a bit better than a 2-2 draw. Maybe keep a clean sheet, because you'll see here, we are the best defensive team in the league so far. Conceded four less goals, I should say, than any other team in the Prem. But now it's Coutinho, he's from goal for an early finish, and he puts it wide. That should have been 1-0 there, but 20 minutes in now. Harry Kane moving forward. It deflates off the defender. He could pop a shot away here, and he does, and it hits the crossbar. And we get very lucky there. And now 33 minutes in. Henderson, not Henderson. Mustafi 
catches out Dembele, he passes it down to Sturridge. Storage through to Coutinho, if he can get decent touch, he's through, nods it down, he's through on goal, takes a shot, great save by form, comes off defender, Coutinho's got to finish it, and he does, and we've got the 1-0 lead against Tottenham, and that was all a bit scrappy, but a goal is a goal, and uh, 10 minutes before half-time, it's not a bad time to get it either. It was a great ball by Storage, good counter-attack, he should have finished it first time though, but uh, lucky with the Vertonghen deflection, but I'll take it. And now on the edge of half-time, right... Mason with the shot and it's uh, luckily high and wide because that could have easily been a goal from that kind of range. And now it's swung in towards Harry Kane and it's a good catch by Mignolet. Safe hands by the Belgian keeper. And now even further into the game, Firmino cuts to the inside. He can get a shot away and, he, and he's fallen over basically, which is pretty terrible. And now 90 plus second minute, there's the full-time whistle and we've got a solid 1-0 win away from home to Spurs but that is going to bring us to the end of this episode if you did enjoy guys please remember to like and subscribe and until next time I will see you guys later Leicester City 1 Tottenham Hotspur 0 Liverpool 1 Watford 0 Arsenal 1 West Bromwich Albion 2 Sunderland 0 Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables At the top of the table remain Liverpool with 23 points in second Manchester City